Hello again, uh, I'm James Champion. I'm uh, in the process of telling uh, about my journey in the uh, coming months to Central America, where I intend to retrace the footsteps of my entomological great-grandfather, George Charles Champion. Now, having returned from Central America, George Charles worked in the Natural History Museum, but paid by his uh, employers, Godman and Salvin. He brought back more than 17,500 specimens from Central America, and he described more than 4,500 species new to science. His collections are still being worked on in the museum today. Um, he also worked very closely with famous biologist Henry Walter Bates, who of course was a colleague of uh, Alfred Russell Wallace, and uh, uh, they were both working very much together with Darwin on the uh, theories of uh, evolution. Um, here in this picture we can see a very large number of minute beetles in the national collection in the Natural History Museum in London today. They are in the process of uh, reorganizing the collections and uh, they are now uh, laid out uh, in a classified order in uh, modern pest-free um, cabinets. But many of the boxes that my great-grandfather donated on his death are like this and here we can see a box that had hardly been opened since 1927 when um, he uh, donated these, uh, these specimens. So there is still work, be, work to be done on his collections and occasionally scientists actually find specimens in there that represent new species. And um, George Charles just didn't have time to finish all, all, all his work uh, before his death in 1927. Now his sons, Harry, Freddie and Reggie, sent him back material uh, in many cases uh, from India. Um, one species of ladybird, which was originally from northern India, was discovered by Dr. Roger Booth of the Natural History Museum in 1996 in one of George Charles's collections, and he recognized it as being a new species. He named it Calvia championorum, and uh, in his uh, description he, uh, he records this species is named for father and son, G.C. and H.G. Champion. Now, there are several other uh, species which were named uh, in my great-grandfather's honour. This is a particular type of wasp called Nectarinella championi. This is a moth called Caio championi. And here we can actually see the original specimens of the ladybird Calvia championorum. And uh, these are in the Natural, uh, History's, Natural History Museum's collection uh, today. And by searching on the internet, I found this interesting picture of uh, Calvia championorum. This is actually from a Taiwanese uh, website, hence the uh, uh, labeling in Chinese. It's a very attractive looking insect, I think. And here we can see another picture of it with its uh, wing cases closed. Now, George Charles and Adelaide Champion had seven children. The uh, one uh, standing uh, next to the bench, second from the left, is my grandfather, F.W. Champion, who uh, you have uh, probably seen my uh, presentation about. He moved to India and uh, became a famous photographer and protector of tigers. The farthest right one uh, leaning on the bench is Harry George Champion. You have also uh, come across him, and uh, he was a forest officer in India. Now that's the end of uh, my presentation. I uh, hope very much that you'll join me on my journey to Central America in the footsteps of my great-grandfather, -grand George Charles Champion, and I look forward to telling you about that then.